Welcome back to Legend Skateboarding, everyone. And for today's video, I'm gonna tell you five things that you should do when you're skating alone. We all know that we don't always skate with people. Sometimes, like, you're in your garage or your friend just can't skate with you and you're out street skating by yourself. And here are five things that you should do. Okay, first thing you should do is film yourself because when you film yourself, you can look at the clips that you just did or look at the thing that you did wrong in a trick or something like that. When you're skating, you're not looking at your whole body. All you're looking at, just your feet and your board, and that's it. But friends come in handy because they see your whole body, they see everything. Film yourself, so get your phone, get whatever you have. I recommend getting a tripod. You don't have to get a tripod this big. This one's for like uh, YouTube. This is a little too big. I have a tripod that is pretty small and it, like, it can attach anywhere. Or if you don't have anything like that, you can just like stand it up on like your backpack or like a rock or something and film yourself there. It's good to film yourself because you see yourself in the third person and what you're doing wrong. It's easier to find out what you're doing wrong. And second thing you want to do is keep it chill. You want to keep your session nice and safe, not too insane, not too extreme. But do a tent stare by yourself because if something happens, you don't want to drive yourself to the hospital. And I find it better to do like gnarlier things with your friends because they cheer you on and stuff like that. But when you're by yourself, you're just like. <laughs> Not as fulfilling if you land it by yourself. It might be like, keep it calm, keep it chill. Do a nice chill skate session. Do stuff you know, try to get like more consistent at stuff you know. Don't try to do insane stuff. But I'm not saying you shouldn't do like laser flip or something. Do like flat ground tricks. Any flat ground trick is cool. But like, I'm saying more of like stairs and handrails and like stuff like that. Try to keep it on the low. Basically do like a lot of flat ground. What you want to do which I should probably do is like, I get really distracted and try like other tricks. So you, you wanna set goals for yourself. So if you know that you're skating by yourself and before you skate, before you like get out of your house, like think of a trick that you wanna do or like multiple tricks that you wanna get down like today in this session and make goals for yourself because what happens if you don't make goals? You do a trick, you try a trick, you get close to a trick, and then you're like, nah, I'll do it later or something like that. And then you go to another trick and you get close to that trick. And then you're like, nah, I'll get that later. And then you go to another and another and another, etc. I really need to do this and I will do this today. It will make your session better because when you land that trick, hopefully in that same session, you'll feel a lot better than you feel like skating today. But pretty well because you landed something. What I do, I just like do a bunch of tricks and I'm like, dang, I didn't land any of them because I didn't focus on one of them. I didn't set my goal on one of them. And I'd be like, that, that session is okay. Don't be like me, that's what I'm saying. Don't be like me. Set yourself goals, land tricks, have a better session. In the comments down below, put, do I look short in our sin? Yes or no if I look short at this angle. So put yes or no if you agree if I look short. Number four, second to last one, is gonna be get a backpack. When you're skating with your homies, sometimes you forget some, forget something, or sometimes you don't bring anything at all, and you ask them if you have wax or if you have a team tool. Because you're skating by yourself, make sure you get yourself a backpack or like a fanny pack because it's kind of small. You can keep wax, your phone, a tea tool in there. You can keep a lot of small things that you might need when you're skating. You drink a lot of water, so I bring a bag full of water. If you're skating with like your homies or something and the ledge is not really waxed, then probably somebody, one of them is going to have wax. But if you're skating alone, then you wouldn't have that wax and you'd be like, damn, you can't skate this or I have to go like super fast so I can find this whole thing. So make sure you have a backpack full of all the stuff that you need. Listen to music. So bring like speaker, bring your headphone, and listen to music because you're alone. You 
like there's nobody around you. So like when you listen to music, when you're like skating with your homies, try not to have headphones when you're skating around with your homies. Cause sometimes they talk to you and you don't hear it. It's like kind of awkward for them. <laughs> What? Dude, I've been asking if you want to play a game of skate, but your headphones are in and you can't hear me. If you bring a speaker that is much better, but sometimes we don't always like the same genre of music. If you want to listen to music while recording, don't go to the video uh, setting. Go to your photos, hold the photos button down, and then it should become red and start recording, and then swipe it up to the lock button, and there, you get to listen to music, and you get to record at the same time, which I find pretty useful. When you listen to music, honestly, I, I'm pretty sure you do better. I think it's like scientifically proven, if you listen to music, you do better in like anything. So listen to music, have a good session. Those are my five things you should do if you want to. You don't have to, I'm not saying you have to. But if you want to, if you enjoy it, and if it helped you out, so if you use them, comment down below, say, I use them, and thank you, Nazar, and make sure to comment if I look short at this angle. Comment if you did or didn't like anything, which all of you do, and I love. Thumbs up, share the video to your friends if they want to see it, or if, if you know that it will help them out. And then like the video if you like, subscribe if you like our channel, and we're gonna get a little bit of skating clips, and skate on!